Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm junk journaling. This is going to be the second page in my little golden book, Wonders of Nature, Nature Junk Journal. And I've picked some elements for today's page. And something that's very special to me is this poem that was written by a student about 25 years ago, and his name was Amos. And he had a syndrome in which tumors were growing all inside his body. And a few years after he wrote this poem, he passed away from the tumors growing in his brain. And the name of the poem is Mrs. Scott Smiles. And that was my previous marriage name. That's me, Mrs. Scott. When Mrs. Scott smiles, when Mrs. Scott smiles, the birds and the flowers smile. When Mrs. Scott smiles, the birds sing with happiness. When Mrs. Scott is sad, the flowers are sad. The trees and the butterfly are crying. And they sing, too bad, too bad. She's sad, sad, sad. I also have a little card that he gave me. Dear Mrs. Scott, I enjoyed your class very much. It was very interesting and fun from Amos. So he talked about the butterflies and the flowers and smiling and sadness. So I found this brochure from the Bronx Zoo, Fold Out Butterflies. And I got a couple pages here. I have some plants in the rain because that looks like crying. I have some more butterflies. I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. Sometimes things change as you go along. and But I know I want the clouds and the rain and the butterflies and his poem. So I know there's a page in here where there's a little girl with some butterflies, or a butterfly. I think it's towards the end. And there she is. So I want this to be across from that. So I'm going to take that page out. I'm going to mark this page with my little clip. Pull this out. This is the Braille paper from the Braille book. Nice and sturdy. So it's a good page to work on. Okay, I'm going to put all these aside. got to be on this side. So somehow we're going to attach this brochure, I'll have to trim it to size, to the page. And I think I use this for a background here, like here. And then I'll put the poem on here so when you pull it out, can read it. Do I want to go that way or this way? And then this will be covered with this page. This is a page from this book, Curious Naturalist. I just ripped it out. And I'll have to cut that to size and glue it down. And then somehow this will be a pocket that I could put the card in. And here. Okay. Let's see. So I decided the first step would be to trim the brochure so that it is the same size as the page. And 
Now I have to make a decision, cut off the top or cut off the bottom. I'm going to cut off the bottom. Oh, here's the moth that's on the page with the little girl. And you're not even going to get to see that. Oh, well. Okay, make it about the size of the page. I'll just mark it off. And cut it. Oh, it's too thick to cut in here. So I cut the background to size and I think I'm going to glue the background on. This is the rain. And then I'm going to sew this like a pocket there so I can put the card in there. And then after I sew this and it's in, I can just cut this and glue this down. Then I will put this on top of that. And then I will fold this back up. Okay, so we are gluing the background. I'm going to use my mono liquid glue. Next step will be to sew this on. Okay, we have to wait for the glue to dry so I don't gunk up my sewing machine. The background on my foundation page is dry. And while I was waiting for that to dry, I trimmed up the cloud background paper for the fold out. And that's going to fit here. And then after I trimmed it, I put on the notebook paper with the poem. And now that is dry. So I am ready to sew the pocket on. And this will cover all the words and I'll still have butterfly zone at the end and all the butterflies on the other side except for where I make the pocket. I decided not to put the pocket too close to the fold because once all the signatures are sewn in it might be hard to do the pull out. So I'm going to put the pocket more towards the middle and I'm going to measure it to make sure I have room to put in the card. I'm 
because the pocket's only going to be this big. So I'll probably put it there. Put a clip. So here's my pocket, zigzag stitch around three sides. The card will go in here. And now I am going to glue this onto here. using my Tombow Mono Liquid Glue. Okay, I'm going to see if I can make a altered paper clip to hold the brochure closed. And I have a really nice card with butterflies. And I have these canvas stickers. So, let's see. Make a little slit. Let's see. Right about there. I'm going to put a little extra glue on this. It doesn't feel very tacky.
I got out some really old tubes of acrylic paint. There's some yellow, green, blue. orange. I know that's way too much paint for this little thing, but I'm going to paint my little canvas flower. My page is dry, so now I can fold it up. So I have my pocket and my fold out. My little altered paper clip with the butterflies on the back and the flowers on the front is almost dry. And that's gonna go right here. Keep my fold out closed. But when I put the card in the pocket, I didn't like this. So I think I'm going to just put a picture of a bird. Like so. Just have to glue this. I've got a big butterfly. You could do that. Have the little butterfly wing poking out. It's kind of cool, isn't it? Okay, let's do that. The cover of my card is finished. I bet you at some point I wind up putting something inside. But I'm going to call this done for now. I like how these colors, these muted colors, sort of match the background. And the orange and brown wings of the butterfly match this page. So let's see how it looks in the journal. I like how the moth on this page sort of matches all this brown and orange. The colors on the altered paper clip sort of match the little girl in the leaves. I like that you can look at all the little different butterflies and learn their names and then have something very special on this side. Something meaningful to me, anyway. I had a lot of fun making the little altered paper clip. And I have my card inside. I put some notes on the back. 
of the card so I can remember. All right. Well, this was a fun page to do. And I want to thank you for coming along. Happy junk journaling. Bye-bye.